Did you ever experience something like that? Penalty shootouts, Milan, Rio, Ave, it's taking an eternity. Looks like, because it's over for sure, we are already in the morning, but it looked like yesterday the penalty shootouts were longer than the game itself. Incredible. They were all scoring, they were all missing. Donnarumma missed a penalty, the other goalkeeper missed a penalty. I believe it was 11-10, Milan won. What a penalty shootout session. I never seen something like that. I hope you are doing well, Juventini of the world, because you know my name is Giuseppe and I welcome you back on the channel. It's Friday, the day before the weekend, a big weekend, because normally 99.99% .99 there will be the big game Juventus versus Napoli. Yesterday was a big day because there are two main topics. Champions League draw, Mercato. Mercato. Champions League draw. So stay on the channel because we will see what the Italian and international papers are saying about our beloved Juventus. We start immediately with the three front pages from Italy, Tutto Sport, Corriere dello Sport and Gazzetta dello Sport. What are they saying? Tutto Sport is saying finalmente, finally. And then they are showing the big game. Messi versus Ronaldo with the Champions League in the middle. They are also showing the, the four groups, uh, the one of Inter, the one of Atalanta, Lazio and Juventus. We will speak about that in detail. What are they saying in the small letters? Ronaldo versus uh, Messi, Conte versus Zidane. Guys, I don't know. Okay, they play together, but Messi and Ronaldo has no comparison versus Conte and Zidane. Zidane won three times the Champions League. Eh? Uh, Conte, he was out in the snow in Galatasaray. Just saying like that. Then Gasperini versus Klopp. That will be a really beautiful game. Uh, they are not even speaking about uh, Lazio. But okay. So this is for uh, Tutto Sport. And what are they saying about La Gazzetta dello Sport? Milan, my visto. I believe they also uh, were waiting to get that front page out. Because they didn't know when it would be out. It was taking so long. Never seen a Milan like that. They were celebrating like they won the Champions League. After scoring uh, uh, so many penalties. And then in yellow. Uh, the best that could ever be possible because they are speaking about CR7 versus Messi, Gasperini versus Klopp and again Conte versus Zidane. Guys, I don't know what they are always speaking about Conte versus Zidane. Uh, yes, it's Real Madrid. Yes, Conte, but it, guys... Okay, let's go to the next page. Corriere dello Sport. CR7 Messi, a classico. Finally, we will see that game. The big clash. And then... Because we know Corriere dello Sport, they are always negative about Juventus. If they see an opportunity to speak bad about Juventus, they do it. So they are saying, la Juve svende per avere chiesa. Juventus is selling to have chiesa. But not just selling. They are saying selling with a lot of loss. Because vendere with a V is selling. Svendere is... Uh, selling a cheap price and that's what they are saying then they are saying Rugani and Douglas Costa they were necessary to go out because Juventus wants to buy Chiesa so this being said we will speak about all the details about today so Nedved Nedved was speaking about CR7 Messi the big clash the Classico, guys, we will have to enjoy that game because it's maybe the last two times that we will be able to see a game Messi versus Ronaldo, Ronaldo versus Messi. I can't wait. We will cover that on the channel because it will be spectacular. I believe Juventus will win, but Nedved was also saying it will be uh, the game from Arthur versus Pjanic. I'm even adding De Jong versus uh, De Ligt, if De Ligt is back, we will see so many clashes in the game, I can't wait, uh, it, but guys, but guys, I want to say something, don't you think it's a bit strange that Juventus play versus um, Barcelona, yesterday before the draw, I saw a statistic uh, sheet, what was really well made, with a lot of statistics of the probable opponents of all the teams and you clearly saw that Juventus uh, could have taken Barcelona as favorite in the second group in the third group uh, indeed it was Dinamo Kiev and then you had Marseille in the fourth group with uh, Ferenc Varos what will be actually our real opponent he was I believe third uh, uh, third in that ranking so looks like all the statistics were already made 
so that Juventus would play versus Barcelona. I believe there is something a bit strange in that uh, in that draw. But let's continue because Luchescu, Luchescu, the trainer of Dinamo Kiev, he will face Pirlo. And that's an important one. Why? Because when Luchescu was training Inter at the time, he's the trainer who launched Pirlo. He started the career, the professional career uh, from Pirlo. So that will be really beautiful to see. Luchescu in August, on the 13th of August, he said, I'm an Inter fan because I coach Inter, but with the arrival of Pirlo, maybe I will change my side because I love Pirlo. I'm curious, I'm really curious about that game if and if Luchescu will still become a Juventus supporter now that he has he is in the same group as Juventus. And then something about Ferenc Baros because BJOs or BJOs, I don't know, uh, from the channel, a subscriber from the channel, he wrote some histi historical piece about Ferenc Baros saying and remembering us that in 1965 there was a final, the predecessor of the UEFA Europa League, where in the final there was Ferenc Baros versus Juventus and Juventus as a lot of time in the finals, we lost 1-0 with Ferenc Varos, who became actually the winner that day. Nice thing, and I like that. I read the comment, the comments from you guys, and those kind of comments, I really love it, and that's why I wanted to do a shout out. Then, around to Rini saying that 30% of um, the, the stadium can be filled for the Champions League games. That would be really nice because 30% it's a lot. So I'm really happy about that news. Then Sarri. Sarri looks like the best friend of Sarri. He was speaking about the words of Sarri, asking them who will Sarri support for the game Juventus Napoli. And he clearly said he will support Napoli. He will support them. Uh, and then he said a lot of things like uh, Sarri said to him that Cristiano Ronaldo is a company on himself. He has little or no contact with all the other players of the team. He's managing himself. Then he said that there is one player without uh, mentioning the name, one player of Juventus that is the most fake of every time. A lot of negativity. Those are not the words from Sarri, but the words of one of the best friends of Sarri. Reporting what Sarri said to him. But that's why I really want to win the 10th in a row. A lot of anti-Juve. A lot of anti-Juve. Sarri, Conte became an anti-Juve. They are all against Juve. So Chesney said yesterday, we will go to war to win the 10th in a row. And I agree with that. It will be a war. We have to win that 10th. And I want to thank you guys because uh, a lot of you visited the site, Turin's finest, for the t-shirts, no Pirlo, no party, and Inter Merda. A lot of orders came in. Thank you for that. We are shipping as fast as we can. And now Mercato. A lot of Mercato news because there is a big news, guys. Romeo Agresti, yesterday he said that Rugani, today on Friday or maximum on Saturday, but I believe it will be today, he will be in France in Rennes because he will go there on loan he accepted the offer so it will be 1.5 million loan for Juventus and the salary of Rugani 3.5 will be totally paid by Ren. so at the end Juventus can win a bit of money they can save a salary that's a, a 5 million it's a dry loan then he will come back I believe it's a really good thing because he would not have played that much at Juve playing in Champions League and in Ligue 1 as a starter can be really good because then we will be able to sell him next year. Nicolu Sicaviglia, he will go on loan on Parma, also a good news for the guy because he deserves to play, he can show his quality, I'm super happy about that. And then the words of Paratici when he was asked about Chiesa, will he go to Juve, he said we are open for opportunities, we are alert about what's going on and about all the opportunities. Guys, it looks like Chiesa will come to Juve, you know that I was not a big fan of Chiesa, I start to accept it, also because we need someone on the right we need it really much because quadrado alone is not enough so we need it 22 years why not i'm just septic about the price because yes there will be a strange formula on paying him on four different years and that's okay because that can be a smart financial move but in terms of salary if we give that guy five million and he's a flop we will not be able to sell him so we will do the same mistake so please juve Pay attention to what you do if you take Chiesa. I'm not saying it's good or not. I'm just saying pay attention on what you do. Be sure 
be sure and agree with Pirlo what you are doing. That was it for me. Guys, thank you for following the channel. Thank you for subscribing here. If you are new, put a like on the video and comment. Let me know because there were so much things to say. Guys, thank you for everything. As always, Forza, Juve.